A reading from the Franciscan Book of Saints. October the 8th. The Servant of God, Marianne Cope. Virgin Third Order. In the summer of 1883, a decade after Father Damien, de Wuster had begun to serve as chaplain of the leper colony on Molokai. A priest, Father Leonor, knocked on the door of St. Anthony Convent in Syracuse, New York. He was looking for a religious community that would respond to the appeal of King Kalakaua of the Hawaiian Islands for sisters to care for the island's sick poor, especially the victims of Hansen's disease, leprosy. Mother Marianne, the provincial of the sisters of the Third Franciscan Order Minor Conventuals, had no trouble making a decision. I desire to accept this work in the name of the great St. Francis, she said. And the same year, she personally led the first group of six sisters to Hawaii. They were the first members of a religious community founded in the United States to enter upon mission work in a foreign land. Born in Germany on January the 23rd, 1838, Mother Marianne grew up in Utica, New York. She joined the Franciscan Sisters in Syracuse in 1862, only two years after they were established as an independent branch of the Franciscan Sisters of Philadelphia, who had been founded by St. John N. Nelman in 1855. She was the second mother provincial of the Syracuse Sisterhood from 1877 to 1886. The first sisters were followed by others, and from November 1883 to November 1888, under Mother Marianne's guidance, twelve of her sisters were caring for lepers and others sick and the female children of lepers at Honolulu, Ohau, and Waluku, Mayu. In 1888, about a half year before the death of Father Damien, Mother Marianne went to Molokai to take charge of the boys' home later renamed Baldwin Home, until 1895, and of the Bishop Home for Women and Girls at the Kaulapapa Settlement on the island for the rest of her life, a period of 30 years. Mother Marianne was in her 81st year when she died on August the 9th, 1918. Her grave at Kaulapapa is marked by a beautiful monument, a high pedestal surmounted by a statue of St. Francis embracing the crucified Saviour. The Sacred Congregation for the Causes of Saints in 1974 granted the Syracuse Sisterhood permission to gather and submit preliminary research on the life and virtues of Mother Marianne. A Reflection on Apostolic Zeal, Courage and Charity Consider the apostolic zeal of Mother Marianne. After accepting the invitation to make a foundation in distant Hawaii, she wrote on July the 12th, 1883, I am hungry for the work, and I wish with all my heart to be one of the chosen ones, whose privilege it will be to sacrifice themselves for the salvation of the souls of the poor islanders. I am not afraid of any disease, hence it would be my greatest delight even to minister to the abandoned leper. Do I make any real sacrifices in order to take part in the missionary work of the church, the work of saving souls? Consider the confident courage of Mother Marianne. When she was invited to go to Molokai, the Hawaii Minister of the Interior wrote, The duties to be discharged are of such a nature that I do not feel I have the right to urge the matter upon you. But Mother Marianne replied that she and two companions were cheerfully willing to undertake the work, and I am confident that other sisters of our order will cheerfully volunteer to come and join us. She was not mistaken and she remained on Molokai for 30 years. Consider the heroic charity of Mother Marianne. Speaking of Father Damien's death, she wrote, His was a grand and noble life of self-sacrifice. What more can a mortal do than give his life for his fellow creatures? Though she did not contract the disease as he did, Mother Marianne likewise gave her life for her fellow creatures. She was indeed a heroine of charity. Prayer of the Church Lord God, you taught us that all your commandments are summed up in the love of you and of our neighbour. Grant that we may imitate the example of Mother Marianne by doing works of charity, and so be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Amen. <laughs>